Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use VMS to editor to build um, a Minecraft-like uh, world. Uh, we're going to learn a bit of programming too in this, in this video. Uh, first of all, I'm going to introduce uh, a command called random. Um, so I'll start with the console um, here that you can type in uh, some command. Say so if I say print hello uh, it will say hello, I can say print 1 plus 1 and it will answer 2. Now I can print a random number. The random number <coughs> is quite useful in the games or if you want to quickly generate something random. Uh, the random uh, how to, to the way to use random is to give a range uh, that is uh, a number if I say print random uh, random 3 uh, for the random random needs an input uh, the random 3 will generate a number from 0 to uh, 2 so 3 means uh, it could return uh, a number 0 or 1 or 2 to you so I'll just press enter here and this time I got 2 uh, you can use up or down arrow key to get back to the um, uh, the uh, previous command so I'll just press enter again this time I still get 2 try it again um, interesting every time I get 2 alright now I got 0 2 um, but here I couldn't get one alright so if I say repeat um, 10 times then I'll print random number 5 now I should get uh, 10 numbers that is ranging from 0 to 4 alright so uh, you can see that is what you get here alright so that's how random can be used <coughs> Um, now uh, we'd like to do some more preparation too so in this uh, 3D world it's pretty easy that you can insert a cube at the lo uh, turtle's location and, and direction so uh, from the initial place where the turtle is at 0, 0, 0 coordinate if I put uh, a cube there as you can see that is a 1 by 1 by 1 cube I can select the cube and go to the texture chooser. I got uh, plenty of preset textures, right? So if I say brick and wall, I can click on any one, any texture, and it will apply to the cube. So this cube is uh, now looking like uh, what's in the Minecraft that you can have so many different cubes that you can build a virtual world. All right, so turn off this grid for now. Um, so if we can do this, uh, move the turtle in space and then place a cube and apply some uh, texture then we should be able to create something uh, similar to a Minecraft world. Uh, but you can also you can see the power of the uh, programming language. Uh, in here is the logo programming language that you can build a virtual world quickly. So I like to type in um, first command called CS it's, it means clear screen it's the same as clear uh, screen in one word right so uh, in short it's just CS um, now what I need to do is say repeat um, I, I like to have say 50 cubes to begin with so it's the square bracket where you put uh, any other command in this square bracket and the any thing in here will be repeated 50 times um, so I think the first thing is I need to move the turtle to some place so we have learned random um, command so I can use another command called set x y z now set x y z need three inputs that is x and y and z coordinate and so for the x I would like to give a random um, Ten, uh, random 10 but um, I don't want everything to be 0 to 9 uh, so here I like to have um, um, this number to take away 5 so that means this random number generated will be ranging from negative 5 to positive 5 
um, to positive uh, 4 actually right so uh, this is, will be x and then I'll do exactly the same thing random um, 10 take away 5 and one more random uh, 10 take away 5 right so in this case the turtle will be moved into the um, in, in a 10 by 10 by 10 space uh, and um, it's um, 10 by 10 by 10 is a thousand so it's actually a, a, a thousand cube space uh, don't know which one because it's random number and then when I got to the place I can put a box or I can say cube that is the same thing so at the place I can put a cube uh, now another command is select select is to select uh, the, uh, something that um, you created so every object created will have um, an ID for example here for this object it's called object 0 and when you clear screen it will start with 0 with the obj uh, uh, underscore as the prefix uh, so that will be the object ID but we don't know uh, when uh, what will be the ID if we create a many so we don't know that so uh, we can say create select object object is another command that will return to the, the previously uh, created object ID so select object means uh, you create a cube and uh, you click on that to select it it's the same thing so select object that means I select this cube now when the object is selected I can set image texture or set IT image texture the image texture is um, something from the image texture chooser um, if you stop on any of the um, texture for example this one I stop your cursor you see 0 and 23 that means this texture index is 0 in this 0 set and number 23 in this uh, 36 um, text image texture uh, but we, and we also have at the moment we have 0 to 10 11 sets so in this case I can just set, set random here um, for set IT you need to give the two index but the for the first index I'm going to give uh, 11 and the second index I'm going to give uh, 36 All right. Uh, 36 will get a random number from 0 to 35 and there's 30, 0 to 35 here in, in this um, um, in every set and I have uh, 0 to 10 sets so I put 11 11 will get a random number from 0 to 10 so in this case I think that's probably enough now I can if I run this program I'm expecting to get um, 50 cube located randomly in the 10 by 10 by 10 space so let's try it All right so in uh, just uh, one second or so that you get this 50 cube it's already generated in this random space I actually would like to sh uh, change the background to um, sky and land that's, that's not too bad here right so I can fit everything into the screen so that's uh, 50 cube now if you think that 50 cube is not quite enough try a hundred oh I, I think I got a cube right in front of me all right so that is a hundred hundred cube in this 10 by 10 by 10 space is just one tenth there 